We are back for another speed event in the Pesky's Marble Championship Season 8, the Relay Race. Hello everybody, I'm Pesky Bird, and we're welcome back to the commentary booth. Spenny, welcome back. And thank you for letting me back. Ramen, who subbed in for me the last two events, did an amazing job, but I am excited to be back. And we have had a great previous two events, just to catch you up. The Green Dragons are still in the lead, and they will be for quite a while. But, let's see if anyone can catch up to them here. Let's see indeed, as we look over the stadium, the candle burning bright. We go to the first heat, the Fruity Flyers, Leaping Lizards, Eclipses, and Mocha Missiles. Two auto-qualified teams here in the Eclipses get a good start. Leaping Lizards in the middle lane, can they hold on? Fruity Flyers at the end, they're going to get close, but they'll get second place. Leaping Lizards get the win. Was the top two lanes very close? The bottom two, not really that, what would you say, a part of that race. Really just fighting for a handful of points there. But top two teams, Leaping Lizards, Fruity Flyers going. Now, Cherry Bombs, Winter Warriors, Infernos, and the Shadow Runners. As we get started, who's going to get the first hit? The third lane is out quick. It's very close between them all. The bottom lane, the Shadow Runners will advance. What a comeback there, Shadowrunners were in last place through the first three handoffs and come through in the anchor length to cruise to the victory. Cherry Bombs, who had the early lead, will finish last. Winter Warriors coming in third there. The Infernos will advance on with them. That boom is not ticking at the moment, but here we have Striped Strikers, Rocky Rollers, Team Oasis, and the Surging Storms. How are they going to do here? Middle two lanes out to a lead. The top lane, look at the top lane, it's gonna be close! Who got it for a second? I think the Rocky Rollers definitely, or was it the Surging Storm, sorry. I think definitely took that. What happened to the Striped Strikers there? They're so far ahead and then they just lost everything. They fall all the way to last. Meanwhile, the Surging Storms did what the Shadowrunners did and will cruise to the win and Team Oasis just sneaks out past the Rocky Rollers. What an amazing heat there. One hundredth of a second, but that is all you need, and that will be the difference between possibly a lot of points. H2 Orbs, Green Dragons, Violet Vortexes, and the River Rapids. Here we go! H2 Orbs up to a good lead. Can they hold it? And the Green Dragons will get second. H2 Orbs cleanly get the win there. No chokes or comebacks here. H2 Orbs hold it strong. River Rapids, who are in second place in the standings, will get last in this heat. Not good to go and challenge the Green Dragons, who will advance the semifinals earlier. So that lead will extend. Violet Vortexes will take the best of the rest, and considering their season, they've had some good finishes, but that will still be pretty decent. We had... Coming into the semi-finals now. Leaping Lizards, Surging Storms, Infernos, and the Green Dragons. And they're off. Green Dragons get a horrible start. Leaping Lizards fall back down. Infernos. And who's going to get it there? The Green Dragons come back and get the win. Another comeback in that bottom lane. And Green Dragons will advance to the final again. But who is going to advance in second there? That was super close. Let's have a look at the finish cam. The Surging Storms barely one hundredth of a second. We have a lot of close races here, but the Green Dragons cannot be stopped right now. It doesn't look like anyone is going to catch them anytime soon. But, hey, if you're being dominant, it's because you are a skilled team. Now let's see if the Shadowrunners, h 2 Orbs, Team Oasis, or the Fruity Flyers can make it to the final. It's a good run on the top, and it will stay that way. Whoa, that was close at the line. H2 Orbs fall back in the beginning, but they might have a chance of advancing here. Following a third into the anchor length, they might advance here. We'll have to see the photo finish. Just won't be able to get there, and the Team Oasis will snatch it from them, and they'll advance to the final. Team Oasis could be getting their second medal of these games. They have a gold in, I believe it was the Sprint. There are the H2 Orbs, the best of the rest, 11 points. Or best of the non-finalists, I should say. Fruity Flyers, Infernos, and the Leaping Lizards down there in the bottom of the top half. But now, on to the final. Team Oasis, Shadowrunners, Green Dragons, and the Surging Storms. Can anybody deny the Green Dragons another medal? 
and they're off. Green Dragon's gonna get a start. Shadow Runners middle lane. Team Oasis fight back. Shadow Runners in the anchor lane will capture the gold. Team Oasis was so close, but they will not get there. But it's the Shadow Runners who will capture their first medal of the season and their first ever gold medal as a team. What an amazing finish there. 3.97 as their time. That was close until the final handoff. The Shadow Runners shot like a bullet out of that final handoff to take that win. Team Oasis very happy with the silver. Surging Storms there in third. And the Green Dragons may be a little disappointed with a fourth, considering how all their other heats went. But still a lot of catching up to do for the other teams. The Green Dragons will lead the championship after this. And there is your podium. Surging Storms getting their second straight medal, trying to turn their season around after starting so well. They've fallen back into the middle pack of the standings. So, their fans definitely happy with the second straight medal. As we see the standings now, Surging Storms jump up to second place in the standings, but are still well behind the Green Dragons. Team Oasis will jump up three spots to fifth, but. Still anyone's game in the mid-pack as we head to the triathlon next.